Okay, so now we know how to navigate between components and create routes, uh, navigate between routes and create routes and set up React Router. Now also, the last thing we need to know is how to pass in parameters uh, to routes. And what parameters are, if you don't know what it is, it's basically passing in variables to routes. So let's go ahead and do this. So inside our app.js, where we are specifying the route, to pass in a parameter or a variable, we can do slash, so about slash, for example, I'm going to pass in a parameter to about. So about slash and then put a colon and then this means that you're passing in a parameter. So you can call this parameter what you like over here. So for example, I'll pass in a message. So it would be about slash, me slash message. And, and the path is not going to be slash about slash colon message. No, the colon message is going to be replaced by the variable that is passed in for the message. And you understand this as I do this, so don't worry. So now when we click on the about button inside our home component, I want to pass in the message that we would like to pass in. So I'm going to, so inside the two, I'll do slash, and then uh, let me wrap this inside brackets, okay, and then so slash about slash, and then I'll pass in the variable or the parameter I want to pass in. So plus, and then whatever you want to pass in. So I would say uh, the message is going to be hello. This is the about component. So I'm going to be replacing that with this with the message. So control V, put this in a um, string, I'll put this in a variable actually, so I'll make a variable here, and I'll call this um, about message, or we'll just call it message, and this would be a string with this, and then I'll pass in the message variable as the parameter. So now we would be uh, going to slash about slash message, and this message would be the parameter for the message, message root, the about root, sorry. So that is going to be passed in, replaced with this. So the message variable will be replaced with that. So now inside about.js, the about component, instead of saying hello, this is the about component, I'll replace this with the message that has been passed in to us. So I will do, um, to receive this, we need to receive props to our component, so props. And the, the parameters, we can receive them by doing props.match. Uh, dot params and then dot the parameter that we have passed in so message so save this and now if I go here as you can see this is the message that we have received and uh, to show you that this, uh, this is the message if I comment this out as you can see the message is gone so that's the message that has been passed in to us from the parameters so just to go through this again we are passing in the message with the path so about slash and then passing in the message and we are receiving this as a parameter inside the root so you do colon and then whatever you want to call the parameter so i could call this um for example about message and then i would have to receive this inside about.js as match.params.aboutmessage and as you can see it still works so we are receiving that parameters using props.match.params dot the name of the parameter and just displaying it inside the div so now just to do this again, uh, so you understand it better, I'm going to do the same thing for the home component. So inside app.js, I will be passing in uh, another parameter. So uh, for example, home message. And then inside about.js, uh, sorry, inside home.js, actually not about.js, sorry. Uh, I'll make a new variable called message. And I will say hello this is the home component because that's going to be the message that is displayed on the home component so uh, slash and then put this inside brackets and then plus plus sorry message which is the variable and now if i save this and go to home.js i want to replace this with the parameters we are receiving so props we need to receive props over here sorry so props dot matches dot params and then dot home message and if I save this and refresh click on home uh, we have an error cannot read sorry match not matches and as you can see it's displaying the message that we are receiving and if I click on about uh, it's still displaying this is the home component look but that's because we are passing in from home.js we are passing in hello this is the home component we should be passing in the about component because this is the message with, that is being passed into about so we need to refresh so if we refresh oh, sorry go back to home and so now we are on home 
If I click on about, as you can see, it's being passed in as hello. This is the about component, and this is the home button. So this is the about uh, the about component being rendered, and as you can see, this is the message being added on to the our path. So I hope you have enjoyed this React router tutorial.